And that'll also give you a chance to choose different bass notes now to get more bass movement, something like this. I don't want to teach you this really fun style, but let's back it up to the beginning so we can build it up from something easy. In reggae, there's something that we call a skank rhythm. It's a funny word, but it's just this short chord that we play, and these are going to be on the upbeats. In reggae, we count those on the twos and the fours, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is called a skank. If you do it twice, it's called a double skank. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and... Now let's add some bass notes to that double skank on beat one. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and... Next, we're gonna add a slap on beat three. In reggae, that's something that we call the one drop, and that's where beat three is heavily accented. Here, we're just gonna use a slap like this. One, two, and three, four, and one. Let's change chords. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. There we just change to a D minor chord, which is the four chord in A minor. And it's gonna sound real smooth, just doing the same thing you were doing, just move the thumb down to the D string. It's also cool if you mix the double skank and the single skank together, you can have more bass notes, kind of like this. And that'll also give you a chance to choose different bass notes now to get more bass movement, something like this. Now which bass notes can you choose? It's easy, it's just the ones that are from the chord the root, the flat third, the fifth, and the seventh. But easier way to remember that is just, you know, open A, third fret, open E, and third fret over the A. And then over the D, you have uh, D, F, A, and C. So it's just open and third fret. The other thing you can do is play chromatically to connect the chord tones. When you're approaching the D minor from the A, you can approach it chromatically, meaning going one note at a time, so. See, it work. So we're adding that note and then adding it with the skank on top. You go like this. And then we'll do, we use some scale tones there at the end of the D to connect it back to the A when you loop the cycle again. So this is a really great place to start on this percussive style, but it can get pretty tricky pretty fast, especially when you're trying to get into more advanced stuff like some of the hill country percussion that we do, and also some of the modern finger style percussion. If you guys are struggling with this, or you just wanna get better using a progressive approach like I teach, check out my new course, Modern Slap Percussion for Acoustic Guitar, where I'm gonna teach you the mechanics on how to do this slap technique in a progressive way, starting with easy stuff, and then developing your way to more advanced stuff like the Hill Country Blues or in modern finger style. If you're interested, check that course out. Link is in the description. So when you put all those things together, it might sound something like this. For those of you that are still watching this video, I want to say about the course that I was talking about earlier, I'm actually still in creation of the course right now. I've actually filmed most of the material already for the course. I've just got to edit it and post the videos. I wanted to release it early for pre-sales, but instead of just waiting until the whole course is finished, I'm just going to give it to you guys as I'm editing and finishing up these videos. So if you get it now in this discounted pre-sale, you can start working your way through the easy material first and go through it progressively as I finish up getting the rest of the material edited and posted for you guys. I'm gonna take this part of the YouTube video out in the future once I'm finished with it. So if you're seeing this right now, it means the pre-sale is still available and you can buy it at a discounted rate. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.